Good morning to everyone. Myself Ramandeep Bell. I'm working in King Abdul's University, Saudi Arabia. This is a joint work of Professor Alicia Corredora, Professor John Torregosa, and Professor Vinay Kanwar, and my colleague Mithil Rajput. So the title of our talk is a new third order family of multiple roots finding based on exponential fitted curve so index first we will discuss our research problem then he will give you some brief introduction about the problem what is the aim of our paper then the construction of our higher order scheme later on we will discuss some numerical results as well as conclusions and the last references the search problem one of the most basic and fundamental problem of numerical analysis is finding the roots of a nonlinear equations. It may be a simple root, it may be a multiple root, but in this paper we are talking about multiple roots of nonlinear equations. The origin of problem. Generally, such type of equation originate from the real world application of four major disciplines such as chemical engineering, electrical engineering, civil and mechanical engineering. So the equations, the, the equations can be modeled into different mathematical equations. For example, <coughs> sorry, the problem of finding the roots of an auxiliary equation of higher order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient, the eigenvalue problem and some other things which we can convert into the nonlinear equations. So, for finding the solution of such equations, there are two type of method, direct method or iterative method. Unfortunately, we have very limited direct method which can give you the exact solution. And for finding the solution of non-linear equation in the case of multiple root, it's very hard. So, we have only option to focus on iterative methods. So, Rawl suggested a second order modification of one of the famous method that is known as the Newton method for the multiple roots. So he introduced here multiplicity m. With this multiplicity m, the method now converts quadratically even for the multiple roots. Even if you choose m is equal to 1, then this method is known as simple Newton method. So some of <coughs> other scholars, they also suggested higher order version of Newton method. So some of famous are mentioned here, uh, a third order Chebyshev method in 2.2, Hansen and Patrick they suggested Halley's method, Ostrowski, the well known Ostrowski method 2.4, further Osada also suggested a third order method 2.5 and Chun also suggested a third order scheme, Chun and Nita also suggested a third order scheme in 2.6 here. So, if you have a careful look on all these schemes, so here f dash x is in the denominator. So, clearly whenever f dash x is equal to 0, then this method will not work. So, our mean to say that <coughs> whenever f dash x is equal to 0, that means the slope is parallel to the x-axis. In that case, none of the method will work here. Then divergence problem. Let us say you choose initial guess close to the required root, but still in some cases it will diverge as you can see in this picture. And next is not guarantee to find a root. I mean all the iterative methods, they have these problems also. Let us say you choose here f of x is equal to tangent x. This is the red line is the graph of the function. So we are looking for this root. So he choose initial approximation x1 which is quite close to the required root as you can see that we reach here x2 then x3 and so on. So instead of coming close to the required root we are moving ahead of the required root. Next is oscillatory problem. So as you can see that here we choose here x1 and then we reach it here by tangent line then again x2 
again back it here so here we stuck in this box so we cannot get the root here. so next what is our aim so our aim is to focus on iterative method which do not face all these problems plus we want to give a geometric derivation of such schemes which will work even the derivative is zero or derivative is close to zero okay and for this we choose uh, exponential fitted curve and tangency condition that are the pillar of our schemes so some well known schemes chebyshev halle super halle and chebyshev halle are the special members of our scheme whenever we choosing m is equal to 1 so we also demonstrate uh, the application of our iterative method on some numerical problems okay and compare with the existing results based on the numerical outcomes we found that our method perform better than the existing method even in the case of failure so let's have a look what we did here here is the development of our scheme which is for this we consider an exponential fitted curve 4.1 where p lambda q lambda r lambda and s lambda are disposable constant the value of these disposable constant can be determined with the help of following tangency conditions so clearly we have four disposable parameter and we have three tangency conditions so we obviously one parameter will be free here which is q lambda here okay so we use we sorry we got these three values so now let us assume y of x lambda is equal to 0 so it follows from 4.4 we will get a scheme this like 4.5 so if in the expression 4.1 this one if we choose p lambda q lambda is equal to 0 then this curve is turned as simply a straight line so in that case our scheme will be this one so this is one parameter family of modified Newton method if you clearly have a look alpha and m is alpha is equal to 0 and m is equal to 1 in that case this turn as a classical Newton method here. so by using the value of s lambda r lambda p lambda in the expression 4.4 we can easily get this expression so this is our newly formed schemes so this is also a modification over the formula similar to Amath et al formula 15 which is given in Amath et al but the beauty of our schemes it does not fails even f dash x is very small or zero in the vicinity of the required root so the convergence theorem suppose x is equal to xi is a multiple solution for the multiplicity m greater than or equal to 1 we consider f function as an analytic in surrounding the required 0 xi then our scheme 4.7 will satisfy this error equation here so these are the some special cases of our scheme where when we choose the value of p lambda is equal to 0 or this one and this one so these are new iterative methods okay in all the new method um, the new method from 4.8 to 4.1 to <coughs> if we choose p is equal to 0 and m is equal to 1 here sorry not p actually it is alpha alpha is equal to 0 and m is equal to 1 then all the formula 4.8 4.9 10 11 and 12 will turn as respectively chebyshev halle super halle chebyshev and neutral formulas okay so next we <coughs> compare our numerical method with the existing methods cs hs os nscn the information of this method was given in the first three slides okay so this is the computation order of convergence in the case when we have exact root in the case when we don't have exact root then we use this definition 5.1 so these are the things which we used for the numerical result we use Mathematica 11 so the meaning of e epsilon mean error between two consecutive iteration 
absolute residual error this mean k times h power plus minus m so these are the configuration of our system so first of all we use a wonder wall equation of a state in the for the case of failure here so as you can see here uh, this equation by using the value of these parameter p and all we will get this equation clear in f1 okay the this is the root xi is equal to 1.75 with the multiplicity m is equal to and the third root is this one so whenever we choose initial guess 1.73 so the derivative will be close to 0 okay but our method has the advantage that even the derivative is 0 or close to 0 we will get a result for that okay then we choose another problem case of failure and divergence here we have this Planck radiation problems and after simplification we can get equation 5.3 clearly this equation have a root like this 4.95 something and with multiplicity m is equal to 3 so whenever we choose initial guess log <coughs> log 5 obviously the method CS HS OSL fails to work with another choice 1.61 it is close quite close to the this and we found that derivative is not 0 but very close to 0 and again in that case the method CS ONS and CN will diverge from the root no doubt CH and OS converge but in that case they are taking more number of iteration as comparative to our the details are given in the upcoming slides similarly we define here jumping and oscillation problem so here uh, this problem m is equal to 5 sin x oscillation problems so here we choose another problem where we our required root is what 3.146 with the multiplicity 3 but other methods like cs ons star they are converging to the undesired root another root okay similarly one we choose another standard problem for higher order of multiplicity like 100 so let's have a compare the results now you can see with the initial guess 1.73 the method fails 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 to work again ln5 fails 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 but our methods our method stills are working and giving good results same here in the case of failure you can see the difference error okay absolute residual error 900 minus 925 okay and these methods are fair similarly here similarly this one 1.5 and so on so as you can see it here the other methods are have a divergence problem and failure the star mean they are converging to the root but the root not the same root which we are looking for so here we compare the iterative method based on based on number of iterations okay so here are the initial guesses here the other iterative method as you can see that our method also taking very few num small iterations as comparative to the existing look at here 1280 iterations so here the computational order for convergence you can see that our method also shows the stable computational order of convergence here the concluding remarks so we are saying that our scheme we are saying that our scheme is not only work for multiple root it also work for simple root m is equal to 1 second advantage of our scheme they does not this our schemes also work even in the case for f dash is equal to 0 or derivative is very close to to the required vicinity in addition we also found that some existing method like chebyshev halle super halle they are special cases for m is equal to 1 and numerical result also illustrate that our method are superior than the 
existing method and they work even in the case of failure and divergence and oscillations okay last so in future we will work on the multipoint variant of our families by reducing the second order derivative so these are some the references thank you very much any question any query thank you very much